Let's move on to uh, the markets. We'll take a look at the BRVM uh, uh, performance. The BRVM 10 index of close, uh, closing trading on Tuesday at 208.5 points. That's down by 0.33%. We also saw the all share index uh, losing 0.17% to close at 189 0.82 uh, total value traded climbed to 692.1 million CFA francs currency for the region trading at a 500 against the US dollar now putting its year to date change at a minus 0.2 uh, percent now joining us on the phone to discuss the BRVM market I have Kadi Fadika Kulibali she's the CEO of SGI Hudson and company Kadi it's good to have you on the show with us today good afternoon Didi. hello let's start by focusing on some of the company results that we've seen uh, this week from your region uh, filthy sack first of all uh, full year revenue up 34 uh, percent we also saw uh, profit after tax up 106 166% now dividend of th uh, 355 uh, uh, CFA francs per share. Now, we saw that stock move down 5% after the results were released. Uh, I, I think uh, we would have expected to see a positive reaction to the news. <laughs> yes, uh, because any investor that sees a growth like that would obviously detect that the company is doing uh, well. Uh, on our market, the investors for Filthy Sack are mainly small investors. We don't have any professional funds or large investors, and all they're looking at is the yield. 4% yield on our market is not big. They mm -hmm. need at least 6, 7, 8, and Filthy Sack has a lot of cash, um, which is not being investing into growth, um, growth investment, so the investors are... Um, waiting to see more uh, an increase in the yield and more dividend coming coming to them. Let's move on to CFAO Motors. Uh, now that company also we saw full year revenue up. We saw profit after tax up as well. Uh, talk us through your expectations for that company going forward, especially since you know the Q1 results were not as uh, impressive. We saw revenue down and uh, profit after tax down as well in quarter one. Yes, they were they were down uh, because what we saw last year was a little exceptional. I mean, we we were coming from from a merger, mm. and also we were coming from the crisis where um, a lot of cars were actually damaged in the private companies and also administration. So they all had to uh, rebuild their car fleet, and that's why um, results were were that high. Um, but with the merger and two revenues combined from the the, the companies, Sahi and CFAO, we are expecting to see. Um, uh, stable results from what we had in 2012. Let's talk a bit about the transport sector, Caddy, because uh, I believe that that's uh, the best performing sector uh, this year. I believe that there are year-to-date gains of about 85% uh, led by good performances in Bolore, Africa, uh, and of course, Movis. And of course, we have results out uh, from uh, Bolori as well. And, you know, we saw profit after tax up, revenue up. So uh, in your opinion, is the growth seen in this sector sustainable? Yes, it is sustainable because what we've seen here is the port of Abidjan activity uh, going up. Uh, so obviously, these are the main, the two main companies that are benefiting and actually working on the port. In addition to that, we see for Bolore that uh, 10 days ago, Bolore was just awarded um, the construction and exploitation of the second container terminal of the port, mm. uh, which should start activities in 2016. So there is great expectation for this um, sector and for Bolore. And now uh, let's just get a, a quick update on the market and just your outlook for the end of the week. Well, we are expecting to see um, prices going up because uh, aside from uh, from these results, we are seeing today Pomsi um, showing the results uh, with a yield of 8%, which is like a news for, for, for 10 years back. We also have Silty Sack that, mm. that issued its uh, quarterly results uh, as well. And okay. so we are recommending Pomsi and we are recommending the caterer server that is benefiting from um, from the activity at okay. the airport going Okay, up. Kadi, let's leave it there. Thank you for joining us on the show. As usual, that's, of course, Kadi Fadika Kulibali, who's the CEO of SGI Hudson and & Company. And that's